Hello everyone, Weather Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on the weather across Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. It is Thursday evening, September 26, 2024. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video. I'd really appreciate it if you guys get this video up to 100 likes. If you don't know by now, that's how the YouTube algorithm works. We all like the video and then the YouTube algorithm pushes the video out to more persons who are on the path of these tropical systems that we can keep everyone safe especially during the peak of Atlantic hurricane season, that's August through to October. Share this video with your friends, your co-workers, your relatives, and even your church brethren, and subscribe if you haven't yet done so. Leave a comment down below letting me know what the weather has been like in your year recently. Also, feel free to ask any weather-related question that you might have about the future of the weather in your specific area. Alright, so let's just take a look at the US National Hurricane Center 7-day graphical tropical weather look. As expected, we now have a brand new era to watch right here across the Western Caribbean. Basically in the same spot that we had Helene for the past week and weekend in general. So we can see that this is definitely a hot spot for systems right now. But let us focus our attention on the other entities before we focus on this era right here. So we see that we now have Tropical Storm Isaac right there. We still have Hurricane Helene. And we still have that area that has a high chance of development, a 90% chance of development as it heads towards the northwest. We can definitely see that northwestward tilt. So it's definitely going to be making it to that direction out to sea. Not going to be going this way towards the Caribbean at all. And we're grateful for that. We don't need any more systems right now, like burial coming in from that direction. We know but those systems can be those long track systems. But we're going to be looking at Helene. We're going to be looking at Isaac. And then we're going to be looking at what's to come of this system that has a 20% chance of cyclone formation within the next seven days. Firstly, according to the Hurricane Center, an air of low pressure could form over the Western Caribbean Sea by the middle of next week. Environmental conditions are expected to be conducive for slow development thereafter, while the system moves generally northwestward. And we see that they've given it a 0% chance of cyclone formation within the next 48 hours, that's the next 2 days, and a 20% chance of cyclone formation within the next 7 days. So first things first, let us take a look at what's happening regarding the other systems. We can see Helene spinning away right there, heading into Florida as we speak as a major hurricane. And we can see the swirl and clouds associated with Tropical Storm Isaac right there as it pushes towards the east. And we can also see the strong tropical wave across the eastern Caribbean. And it's definitely this tropical wave that's going to be pushing into the western Caribbean and possibly developing later on this week or if not later on this week into early next week for sure within the next seven days we can also see that area that the hurricane center has highlighted for a strong possibility of development right there across the main development region but if we take a closer look at helene look at this satellite presentation this is as bad as it gets when it comes to the systems Hurricane Helene is now a major category 4. <laughs> it's definitely a bad situation. First of all, we can see the coastline of Florida right here. So the bad weather is already starting to come in. Look at all of the reds, the white, all of which have the eye wall within that, which has the strongest winds and heaviest rainfall for sure. And they've already been getting in on the strong tropical storm force winds as far as even south florida for sure today the system is big and it's definitely going to be doing a number on these areas from storm surge to downed trees damaged homes power outages communication done i've said it before if you have friends or relatives in these areas contact them from now it's gonna take a long while just like what we had with Beryl before anyone is able to contact anyone, especially if they're in the direct path of Helene's eye. According to the Hurricane Center's 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time update that just came out at 7 p.m. Jamaica time, so as of 38 minutes ago, 
Helene is packing maximum sustained winds of 130 miles per hour, which makes her a category four, more so a low end category four. We can see the criteria here for category four strength, anywhere from 130 to 156 miles per hour winds. So definitely upgraded from category three today up to a low end category four. Hopefully it doesn't strengthen anymore. We don't want to see any category five. As a matter of fact, we hope that she weakens, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case at all as she continues to push north, northeastward. And she's moving towards the north, northeast at 23 miles per hour. So she's moving quickly for sure. We're indeed grateful for that. We don't want her to be moving slowly. The slower she moves, the more damage she does. We can see that we still have all of these watches and warnings up. As a matter of fact, no watches, just warnings. The blues we know represent tropical storm warnings. And we can see that even although the center of the system is closer to the Florida panhandle, we still have tropical storm warnings up for majority of the Florida peninsula in blue for sure. And the tropical storm warnings go as far as Georgia into South Carolina right there. Just because this system is huge huge in terms of the wind feel all of this in the gold color is representative of where we're going to be experiencing tropical storm force winds and that's anywhere from 39 to 73 miles per mile per hour winds in general that can definitely cause damage most of what we've been experiencing in jamaica with all these strong gust fronts our tropical waves our winds within um actual thunderstorms are actually tropical storm force gusts in general anywhere from 39 to 73 miles per hour and we saw what it did sometimes down three limbs if not you know power lines sparking and whatnot so it's definitely gonna be a bad situation for this wide area across the southeastern united states in general and we can definitely see the <laughs> the hurricane warning in the red for the Florida Panhandle and the northwestern coast of the Florida Peninsula as well. Definitely going to be a bad situation. We can also see the track that she took right here from the Western Caribbean to the from to the west of the Cayman Islands. All the way northwestward, passing close to the Yucatan Peninsula and then coming northward. And there is still a lot of heavy rainfall expected. The greens, the yellows, the oranges. All the way up to the red colors that represent anywhere from one all the way up to what 12 inches of rainfall still expected definitely gonna be a bad situation in general let's switch gears and talk about tropical storm isaac now right now he's packing maximum sustained winds of 15 miles per hour he's moving towards the east at 10 miles per hour right now and then we can see that he's gonna be making more of a northeastward kind of jog also becoming an h that we know represents hurricane status so another hurricane to add to the list for sure. We're indeed grateful that there is no land out there for Isaac to be tormenting at all. So it's definitely going to be a fish storm in general. But let us focus our attention now on what's to come of this system in the Western Caribbean that has a 20% chance of formation. As a matter of fact, it's not even in the Western Caribbean yet. It is the tropical wave that we highlighted on our Twitter, Instagram, all of the other social media platform pages. Just basically all of these clouds right here across the Eastern Caribbean. This is what's going to be making its way into the Western Caribbean and then possibly trigger something to come up just like what Helene did to come up from the Southwestern Caribbean northward in that flow the pattern hasn't changed at all this is the pattern and we're getting another round of it again as we wrap up september and head into early october so get ready for helene part two we got the outer bands from helene some of which were mostly associated with a trough that helene induced across the island with that southeastern flow <laughs> And this system is definitely going to be doing a repeat, if not even greater, considering that we're heading into the peak month for rainfall across Jamaica, October. Who knows? Maybe what we just got with the rainfall this weekend into this week is just a precursor to what's to come regarding this tropical wave right here that's currently lashing portions of the eastern Caribbean and if we take a look at what the Euro and the GFS supercomputer models are showing regarding this first of all I must say that this website 
definitely a useful tool you see us all use this um website in general you've seen us all use this website in general and actually the website has been glitching out all day because there are so many persons using the website to see what's happening with helene lots of weather enthusiasts if not actual meteorologists using this website for sure we can definitely see today that it was crashing and maybe we might see that it's been crashing if we go out in time because the time it takes just to load one little image out in time is ridiculous just to show how slow the website is well first of all we're going to be looking at the timestamp right here we're going to be looking at helene and we're going to be looking at the moisture stretching from the eastern to the western caribbean so it's going to be pushing from east to west in general so we're just going to be going out to the next one john 68 or is that the next seven days and we can definitely see what's expected we see that helene definitely pushing northeastward to make landfall into the florida peninsula and regarding the tropical wave we definitely see the moisture associated with it pushing from the eastern to the central caribbean it's not going to be moving quickly at all it's definitely going to be across the caribbean bubbling up in general for sure lots of rainfall and moisture look at this well first of all let's go back in time and look at the time when it actually comes in so on friday this is 6z on friday which is actually 1 a.m we can see the whites that represent the fact that we're going to be losing all of the moisture that we recently had with the rainfall that we've been getting from the outer bands of Elene, if not the upper level trough that is induced across the island. But as we head into even as early as Friday afternoon, we start to see some of the moisture coming in. This is 18th on Friday, which is actually 1 p.m. on Friday. As we continue to go out in time, we can see more moisture, especially on Saturday. Look at this. This is 12Z on Saturday, which is actually 7 a.m. We see all of the greens that represent moisture coming in from the Eastern Caribbean to the Central Caribbean right there. And even as we head into Sunday, much of the same, even darker greens that we know represent all the way up to five inches of rainfall. Some dots of yellows in there that represent maybe six inches of rainfall. And then we see that it's definitely starting to bubble up across the western caribbean if not the southwestern caribbean for sure then we start to have more moisture more low pressure building with the l's and then as we wrap up the one in john 68 hours we see what takes place here look we see the isobar surrounding an airflow pressure we see the dark greens we see the yellows and this is just the euro model so clearly the euro model has something forming right here to the north of honduras let us see what the gfs model is showing for the same time period all right so here we go it's starting to slow down just to show that this website has been glitching out all day so many persons using it right now to monitor helene so first things first let's go back so we see that on friday this is 12 on friday which is actually 7 a.m we see the whites that represent little to no rainfall across jamaica in general and then the moisture definitely starts coming in look at this we see a lot of moisture to the south of jamaica by 18 day on friday it's actually 1 pm on friday on the gfs as we head into friday evening we see more moisture coming into jamaica so this is zero day on saturday which is actually about 7 pm on friday more moisture associated with the tropical wave and then on saturday we definitely start to get in on it definitely start to see more moisture coming in even late Saturday, we see the entire island engulfed in rainfall for sure. As we continue to go out in time, we see the loading issues. Please bear with the website. Definitely a lot of persons using it as we speak to monitor Helene. But there we go. First things first, look at this. We see a lot of moisture right there to the north of Colombia. An era of low pressure, something of the sort dark greens yellows oranges red as we continue to go out in time look at that we see a lot of a rainfall coming into portions of jamaica this is 18z on tuesday it's actually 1 p.m on tuesday and if we recall 
GFS had the well Euro had the system maybe somewhere closer to Central America. GFS has the system closer to Jamaica. Look at the dark greens, look at the yellows, the reds that represent some moderate to heavy rainfall. The five to almost what 12 inches of rainfall for sure. Then we see that it passes Jamaica to the west and then pushes into the Cayman Islands. Then by the end of the 168 hours, we have something right there to the northwest of Cuba. Well, we see the differences by the end of the 168 hours. The euro has it in the Western Caribbean, right there to the east of Belize and the Yucatan. The GFS has it right there to the north of Cuba. Definitely some differences in the forecast so we don't really have much consensus but what we know for sure is that something is going to be coming out of the western caribbean lots of moisture associated with it so get ready for more rainfall in general we saw how far helene was and we saw the amount of moisture that we got from that system even although it's a big one and this seems like a smaller one Either way, prepare just in case. And we see that both the accumulated precipitation forecast maps from the Euro and the GFS are showing that there's going to be some amount of rainfall. This map from the Euro and this map from the GFS are showing all the rainfall that's expected from now up until 3Z on Thursday, which is actually from now up until 10 p.m. on Wednesday of next week. We see the Euro definitely making sense, showing the most rainfall right there closer to Central America, pushing from south to north. From Panama, from Costa Rica, all the way to the east of Nicaragua, to the east of Honduras, to the east of the Yucatan Peninsula, heading into the Cayman Islands. But the GFS is showing what it basically showed on the other forecast maps. Lots of moisture stretching, stretching from Colombia into portions of Jamaica. We see the purples, we see the pinks, we see the salmon colors right there. Now we represent anywhere from 3 all the way up to what? 8 inches of rainfall. <laughs> so we see the contrast we see the differences we don't see much consensus right now but as time goes on we're going to be getting in on more consensus this is why we have to stay updated with the forecast to see exactly what unfolds to see if we're actually going to be getting the rainfall as predicted and we know after Isaac, the next name on our list is Joyce, followed by Kirk. Hopefully, we don't get in on anything else. We don't want to get in on Patty at all. Patty sounds like something that could possibly come to Jamaica. <laughs> Can you imagine the memes coming out of that one? We don't want to see that at all. Hopefully, we just get some more tropical waves to bring the rainfall, cool down the temperatures, and keep the water in our pipes. That that's as much as we want we don't want the tropical storms we don't want the winds we don't want the power outages hurricanes at all all right so let us focus our attention on the surface map of the atlantic for this evening we can see the ridge of high pressure right there to the north that we know is responsible for sending all of these entities from east west across the main development region into the caribbean we see the isobars right there associated with helene right there well this is an old map so helene should be closer to making landfall as we speak we see her right here in the purple we see the tropical wave right here across the eastern caribbean the other tropical wave that has the high chance of development right there across the main development region's central portion and we see another tropical wave right here to the east of the cabo verde island and if we take a look back at the visible satellite images of the atlantic before the sun went down let's see if we can find the right one there we go we can make out all of these entities that we just mentioned helene the tropical wave across the eastern caribbean we have isaac right there we have the other tropical wave that has a high chance of development as well as the other tropical wave right there to the east of the cabo verde islands we'll be talking about the rest of the caribbean today later on let us focus our attention on the prediction that was made in yesterday's video about the weather across jamaica for today Thursday, September 26, 2024. It was stated that especially southern parishes in Jamaica would have received some rainfall last night into Thursday. And just because we say especially, that doesn't mean northern parishes couldn't have gotten on some of the action. They had indeed gotten on some of the action for sure. But most of the activity was expected for southern Jamaica. And we know southern Jamaica, we're talking about those parishes like Westmoreland, St. Elizabeth, Manchester, Clarendon, St. Catherine, Kingston, St. Andrew, and St. Thomas. While northern parishes, you know, we're talking about those parishes on top like Hanover, St. James, Trelawney, St. Anne, St. Mary, and Portland. 
And what ended up happening? As early as 4.40 a.m., the in, well, the Cuban Doppler radar images were posted and they highlighted the rainfall as represented by the greens, even some yellows within that, starting to come into portions of some southern parishes. We definitely saw that southeasterly flow, definitely brought some isolated showers to my area in St. Thomas. Some of that definitely spilled into portions of Kingston, St. Catherine, sections of West Milan and St. Elizabeth got in on some of the early morning rainfall for sure some of this was definitely very heavy as well even at 7 17 a.m we saw the live camera from c jamaica's youtube channel showing crossroads and we definitely had some light to moderate rainfall coming into portion of the corporate area at that time stamp as well we see the time stamp 7 17 and the brunt of the rainfall today in the corporate area was around let's say somewhere between 10 and 11 30 a.m where the visible satellite image was posted and it highlighted the clouds bring overcast skies and isolated thunderstorms to portions of especially southern jamaica so definitely section of saint elizabeth manchester clarin and saint catherine section of kingston and saint thomas definitely got in on some of that i remember um, around what close to 11 o'clock if not after 11 o'clock Definitely got a heavy downpour when I was at work in Kingston for sure. Definitely exciting, cool down the temperatures and we really liked that. And if we take a look at the visible satellite images of Jamaica before the sun went down, we can make out some isolated showers that were still plaguing portion of some southern parishes. I definitely got in on a huge afternoon downpour as soon as I got home in my area of St. Thomas. I definitely posted that on my social media platform story. Definitely got that southeasterly flow with that rainfall for sure. And if we take a look at what's happening right now, for the most part, majority of the island has cleared out, but we can make out a dot of thunderstorm right there to the south of St. Thomas. Who knows? Maybe something is on its way to my area. We'll see when I look at the current um satellite image shortly but let's confirm what took place today first of all here on our twitter page we have jackie j stating heavy rains are known hagley park road that was nine hours ago we have another commenter here whose name i can't pronounce greater portmore has overcast skies but not much else in terms of rainfall them still a scam we stating very heavy rain fall happening now in bull bay st andrew 12 hours ago as well we saw Jen Bartley sitting raining in Mandeville, Maria Hitchens pouring, Best Genius, very heavy winds and showers in Spanish Town, Rose Alvaranga stating rain on and off earlier, now it's overcast, Junction St. Elizabeth, and Maid stating rain and north breeze in Southeast St. And just to show that some of this rainfall is definitely spilling in from some southern parishes into portions of northern Jamaica with that southeasterly flow. Then we even have some comments coming in here on our Facebook page. We have Sylvia Bando, very windy now in St. Anne with a downpour a short while ago. Marona Burke, rain in Ocho Rios. Nadine Wallace, raining in Kingston and St. Andrew. Cecily Jones, rain in Kingston. Queen of Rap, raining in Uatang. And if we look at our instagram page we also see the comments coming in salvi underscore smile stating it's raining here in st elizabeth brie underscore grab underscore it underscore stating it's raining now in bull bay we also have a uh, nalisha hill less shot male c stating raining in clarendon Rene underscore rebel stating heavy rain in spanish town and if we take a look at see jamaica's youtube channel at around 10 46 a.m we can definitely see the rainfall that was taking place definitely some moderate to heavy rainfall for sure lashing the corporate era in general and we might have had some flash flooding taking place because this rainfall was definitely steady for the most part at that time period we can already see the traffic it's normal in general on these roads but we definitely had that rainfall for sure across those areas of the corporate area by the way if you'd like to see some more of these live streams just visit see jamaica's youtube channel they show live streams of crossroads halfway tree the bagua gorge 
and they're planning on increasing the amount of cameras that they have around the island so subscribe today on another note if we take a look right here at this video it must have been somewhere in if not saint elizabeth manchester we definitely had some vehicles trying to traverse the heavy flooded roads one of which was trying to go up a hill but ended up being washed down and then the vehicle behind it didn't want the car to hit it so it definitely reversed as well i've said it before and i'll say it again guys we don't need to get to where we're going to especially when it is raining sometimes it's good enough to stop you know wait it out let all of the heavy rainfall subside let all of the water run off don't try to brave it we don't want to be washed away look at this even this vehicle can't manage thought it could brave it but the water rushing down so hard causing it to go down the hill as well and this was on one quest times on instagram we also have another one right here from dotty underscore junker underscore officials underscore page showing more flooding this right here in the caption states see your main road leading to alligator pond we see the murky water definitely a bad situation and another one right here highlighting mandeville manchester and the abundance of traffic so we see what the flooding can do in general we know the drill turn around don't drown all right so let us take a look at the current infrared satellite image we can definitely see that the clouds that we're having right here to the southeast or to the south of st thomas maybe some isolated areas are within that don't see much happening across majority of the area tonight jamaica in general so the stars are going to be out for sure we see some dots of white right there to the west of the island or on western jamaica in general and if we match it to what we're seeing on the latest cuban doppler radar images let's see if it's making sense so we can already see it making sense the rainfall right there to the south of st thomas so who knows maybe some more rainfall in store for me tonight if the rainfall doesn't die out we can see it right there definitely on its way this is as of 8 40 p.m Jam well eastern standard time which is actually 7 40 p.m jamaica time so this just came out 20 minutes ago it's only a matter of time before a new one comes out and i'll definitely keep you posted if we get something in st thomas right here on our other social media platforms like whether jamaica on twitter keep in mind that we don't only post these uh, and well these things on our twitter page or whether jamaica but we also post them on our instagram page or whether dot jamaica on our tiktok page or whether jamaica and on our facebook page or whether jamaica 876 so if you have one of, those, one of those social media platforms please ensure that you follow us there as we may post throughout the day that you can't afford to miss we can also see that on the guantanamo bay cuban military radar we have some rainfall right there between cuba haiti and jamaica the greens the yellows are represent a moderate to heavy rainfall we can also see on the cayman radar most of the moisture is right there to the east of the island stringing and pushing northward for sure more so a north northeasterly flow heading into maybe Helene in general. All of this moisture trying to suck into Helene. This air of no pressure. We'll see how that goes. Either way, in terms of the temperatures right now, we can sell 28 degrees Celsius in Montego Bay, 25 degrees Celsius in Kingston. Could be definitely cooler than this for sure. We have to take these maps with a grain of salt. And we see that by 4 a.m. on Friday, temperature should have down to about 25 degrees Celsius in Montego Bay, 25 degrees Celsius in Kingston. Taking a look here at the temperature forecast for tomorrow, this map from the GFS is showing 18Z on a Friday, which is actually 1 p.m. on Friday. And we can see Jamaica right here embedded in some yellow colors. And we know the yellow colors are representative of 1 degree Celsius above normal temperatures. And we know the normal temperatures for the month of September across Jamaica about the same as 90 degrees fahrenheit 90 degrees fahrenheit is about the same as 32.2 degrees celsius when calculated so we should be receiving anywhere from 32 to 33 degrees celsius at most for jamaica's temperature on friday either way we know the drill we know how hot it can get here so stay hydrated drink lots of water throughout the day even if you're not thirsty if you're hungry drink water instead 
and if you don't have much water you can never go wrong with fruits melons apples grapes in general and please ensure that you dress down it's a friday dress down wear lightweight clothing and use sunscreen if you can all right let us take a look at the saharan dust forecast for 5 p.m on friday we're still in the clear majority of the atlantic basin in general all of the dust as represented by the brown should be across the northeastern portions of the main development region stretching all the way back into africa and we're indeed grateful for that we don't want these entities well we don't want this saharan dust pushing into our area at all we know how bad it can be bringing a lot of hazy skies if not triggering some amount of asthma or sinusitis in some persons if we take a look at the wave forecast for tomorrow it makes sense that the waves are going to be highest right where we have helene definitely heading inland for sure but we still have some high wave heights still going to be experienced across portions of the waters to the southeast of the united states right there anywhere from the purples to the bergon is represented anywhere from two of the up to six meter wave heights possible and that's all because of helene helene is definitely making landfall as we speak pretty sure if i head onto one of the websites that shows her <laughs> Her radar we're gonna be seeing that shortly I'm gonna be getting there on this way to make landfall right now we can definitely see the flow for tomorrow more so coming in from the east kind of curving northward so kind of still having us an east southeasterly flow across the island and everything heading northward into Helene when she gets into portion of the United States right there and we see the winds definitely averaging anywhere from 5 to 10 to 15 knots for the most part. And as we take a look at the close up of Jamaica, definitely more so, if not a southeasterly flow, more of an east southeasterly flow for sure. We see the direction right there. So if we're going to be getting in some rainfall, maybe coming in from the east, definitely coming in along a portion of southern Jamaica. But we know that the air is going to be piling up where we have the blues. That's where we're going to be having the low level clouds becoming mid-level rain clouds if not upper level cumulonimbus clouds and that's where we're going to be having that diurnal or that daytime heating of rainfall for sure so anywhere somewhere across the northern or northwestern parishes in jamaica look out for that rainfall if you're in hanover st james section of Trelawney, st and maybe section of st mary western portland for sure we can definitely make it out on the rainfall forecast maps here so first of all we can already see some of the moisture associated with the tropical wave starting to come into the frames but look at this this map from the euro and this map from the gfs are both showing 4 pm eastern standard time which is actually 3 pm jamaica time and we can already make out the rainfall across portions of especially northern and western parishes in jamaica so those areas that we just mentioned hanover st james Trelawney, st Anne, st mir section of west milan and even northwestern st elizabeth getting in on the action some of the moisture from the tropical it may be affecting portion of southern jamaica too we can also see the euro model a bit more robust with the darker blues across northern and western jamaica for sure and we definitely have the consensus 3 p.m tomorrow look out for that afternoon rainfall especially across the north coast then if we skip ahead to about 10 p.m eastern starter time which is actually 9 p.m jamaica time not seeing much right here on the euro model just some specks of blues here and there in and around the islands east and west but look here on the gfs a lot of moisture associated with the tropical wave right here to our east as well as on land we'll see how that goes we know that when we have contrast our differences on the supercomputer models the chances are not so high for this actually taking place but what we're sure about is the afternoon rainfall on friday so if you are going out tomorrow you know bring your umbrella with you your rain gear especially if you're in the northern portion of the island we can see that both accumulated precipitation forecast maps from the year and the gfs are in consensus that it's going to be raining somewhere in jamaica within the next 24 hours this map from the year and this map from the gfs are both showing all the rainfall that's expected from now up until 10 pm on friday and we can see the greens the yellows that represent anywhere from 0 0.2 of an inch all the way up to what 0 point maybe 5 of an inch of rainfall across somewhere in jamaica maybe even the oranges as well maybe all the way up to 0 0.75 of an inch of rainfall either way we'll take it we're in the month of september 
during September in Kingston, whose bar graph is being shown here at the top, Wuja received close to 100 millimeters of rainfall, that's almost 4 inches of rainfall. In Montego Bay, Wuja received almost 7 inches of rainfall, that's almost 175 millimeters of rainfall. So you can do the math yourself, by the way, considering that I have a nice little graphic right here. Um, calculated the rainfall and the rain gauge from inches to millimeters. We know that one inch of rainfall is about the same as 25 millimeters of rainfall for sure. And keep in mind that you can visit weatherandclimate.com to find out what your specific parish receives throughout the year as well. Alright, so that's it for the forecast across Jamaica. Let us focus your attention on the rest of the Caribbean. So before we even get to the Caribbean, we can definitely see the center of Helene definitely closing in. I wonder if it has done something since um, all of this talk that I've been doing. Let's see. Either way, we can see the tropical wave across the central to the eastern Caribbean for sure. Definitely pushing westward. So Jamaica definitely going to be in for a lot more of the same. Lots of bad weather in general for us. Let's see what Helene is doing. Definitely getting closer, inching closer to landfall for sure. And if we take a look at the latest Doppler radar images, let's get down there. We can definitely see her eye wall right here in the oranges and the red. The northern eye wall definitely for sure. Parking a punch, heading close to a Perry Cedar Key right there to the east definitely a bad situation in general and we saw what she was doing today definitely spinning away and heading northward for sure this is a bad this is as bad as it gets in terms of the systems in general hopefully persons are heeding the warnings we don't want to hear about persons losing their life over a system that we've been warned about thus far out in general but let's just shift gears and focus on what's happening across the northeastern caribbean regarding the tropical wave that they've been getting in on today definitely getting in a lot of rainfalls we can see the greens the yellows we can see the oranges the reds as well the latest image shows more lighter to darker shades of greens represent some lighter mother rainfall right now but we see that earlier today we definitely had the heavy rainfall in the yellows oranges and reds that plagued portions of the leeward islands and we're from guadeloupe and dominica northward uh, Guila, st kitts and nevis st martin we can also see the rainfall in and around the US and british virgin islands as well if we take a look at the barbados radar we do see that rainfall to the north as well as especially to the south of the islands about this rainfall coming in from the east to affect portion of Barbados as we speak. Mm -hmm. We can also see some rainfall right there across portion of St. Vincent. The Grenadines definitely going to be getting on some of the action. So too Grenada. And we can also see some dots of rainfall right there to the east of Tobago. Some of it to the east of Trinidad too. And if we take a look at the water vape Doppler radar images, we can see the rainfall from the tropical is stretching as far as to the north of the ABC Islands. Some of the rainfall right there across portions of Venezuela northeastern and northwestern venezuela that is section of colombia too the waters to the east of nicaragua section of honduras belize yucatan peninsula still getting that some amount of moisture as we speak and if we take a look at what's expected within the next 24 hours this map from the euro and this map from the gfs are both showing all the rainfall that's expected from now up until 10 pm on friday and we do see the greens the yellows the oranges are represented anywhere from 0 0.2 all the way up to 0 0.75 of an inch of rainfall the reds all the way to an inch of rainfall or more so we definitely are going to be in store for some more rainfall across section of florida the bahamas cuba the cayman islands jamaica haiti the dominican republic puerto rico the leeward islands portions of guadeloupe dominica martinica all right i think i hear the rainfall starting in my area of st thomas right now we can also see that rainfall in store for portion of Barbados, St. Vincent and Grenada, St. Lucia, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago for sure. Even if we scroll down, we see some rainfall on the edge of Venezuela and Guyana right there. So too, sections of Venezuela for the most part. Even portion of the ABC Islands getting some rainfall too. S sections of Colombia, 
Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, El Salvador, section of Guatemala, Belize, even portions of the Yucatan Peninsula still to be getting more rainfall. And we see that both the Euro and the GFS models are in consensus with this forecast. I know that when they're in consensus like this, the chances of it actually happening are much higher. Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching.